What's going on, there, friends? My name is m 2 and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario World for the All Stars. We're off of last time we got through World Five, Force of Illusion. Now this part's bringing me, we're gonna be taking on World Six, which is Chocolate Island. All right, now Chocolate Island. Well, it is filled with lots of chocolate. You're gonna be, you're actually gonna be seeing a lot of. Well, as of right now, there's not really a lot of chocolate uh, as, as at the moment, but uh, eventually you will see some chocolatey flavored levels. Uh, coming coming our way, uh, so all right. Uh, let's see if you you all right. So we go into this pipe, and then all the dragon coins will spawn. So um, that's how you, that's how you can get all the dragon coins in this level. So yeah, as you can see, uh, if you didn't go into that pipe, you you wouldn't be able to get you wouldn't be able to get that dragon coin. I want that. Thank you. Whoa! Hey, that was close. Those uh, rhinos can actually ruin your day. If um, they get you, so you better be careful about that. Oh no! Okay, go inside over here. Boom! All right, end level. All right, that was not a very that was not a very bad level. <clears throat> okay, and then now we have the Chaka Ghost House, and uh, just like Vanilla Dome's Ghost House. This one does not have a secret exit, so we can actually uh, tra uh, traverse through, the, through, the, through this level no problem. There are also no dragon coins, I believe, in this level, so we can just uh, progress on through. Whoa! Hello. Okay. There's a cape in there. I'm going to save it. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Woo! Okay. Close. Close. Oh my goodness. Whoa. 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 Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright. Oh boy. Oh! Okay. Uh, normally, there's those ghost blocks that you just saw uh, by the um, power-up block. And you're supposed to use those to get up to, get up to the door instead. Um, but, uh, we are... Not gonna be doing that because the ghost blocks are really, really slow. So, okay. All right, Chalk Island Two. Chalk Island Two is the most unique level in the game, um, and the reason is because, um, whoa, okay. The reason is because, like, well, depending on your score, your coins, and your timer, that's uh, then it'll take you to some area. So we'll see. We'll see what happens if we go inside over here. Okay, so it looks like we have a cape. All right, sorry, Yoshi. Sorry, I, I, I can get Yoshi back, which is fine. No, not a big deal. All right, the dragon coin there. All right. Okay. So yeah. So then that takes me back over here. Okay. Two fifty nine. Uh, Two forty nine. Two forty nine on the clock will bring you to this area. But if you act, if you, uh, there's actually a reason why I, I waited there for, for a little bit. It's gonna be a pretty good reason. I'm gonna wait for a little bit, kill this guy, and, and then go into this pipe. Okay, alright, alright, we're doing the right thing. That's good. Alright, do that. You have a dragon coin, and end the level. Okay. So that's how you get the normal exit. It's, a, it's very complicated to understand the level, but once you know. Like which area? Once you know like what, like where your points are at and where your score is at, um, it's uh, the level itself can get pretty straightforward. Uh, now I am actually going to play the level as fast as I can. I'm gonna be try. I'm gonna try to speed run this level now, uh, which uh, I promise. I promise. I I won't. I promise. I said that I won't. But uh, uh, but you know what? I I don't keep my promises very well. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, those who, who watch my streams know that. What? I lost Yoshi there. That's a, oh my god. Oh, that's bad. But uh, okay. Let's go inside this pipe now. Hmm. Now I wonder what this area is. This looks very. Oh boy. Okay. This guy needs to go. Thank you. Oh my goodness. All right. This guy needs to go. All right. There we go. Thankfully, thankfully we have the green switch palace that we can get. We can get those capes there, all those capes, and there we go. Secret exit. Well, see, see, see I find the secret exit 
This is actually one of the few levels where finding a secret exit is easier than finding the normal exit. Uh, in, in, at least in my opinion. Uh, my first playthrough of this game, I never really, I didn't under, I never, it was, I had a hard time understanding the concept of this level. But, uh, thankfully, it's not so bad anymore. Woo! Oh, man. Whoa! Okay. Close. Close one. Get out of here. Alright, there's a halfway point right there. And then we just go, and then we just go inside this pipe. Right, this pipe's pretty fun. Or this, this room's pretty fun. Whee! Whee! Too bad you don't get lives for this, uh, uh, like you can in um, Mario Advance 2. Oh well, but what else can you do? And kaboom. Okay, we have a bunch of spike tops. I'm gonna get rid of them. Thankfully I have a cape, because otherwise these spike tops would be quite the problem. Oh man! Woo! Okay. And this part, we just gotta run. Gotta run. Oh, oh, oh! All right, we made it. Whoa! There's so many charging chucks, man. Whoa! Oh my goodness, that was crazy. We gotta run again. Oh, oh! By the way, for the record, there is only. Do not get paranoid. There is only. There is only one dragon coin in this level. Um, and, uh, we call that the courtesy coin, because it's, because it's, just, there's only, because that's what makes, uh, getting all the dragon coins really bizarre in this whole game, that one dragon coin. So most people usually skip that dragon coin, because it's just that, well, I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Um, oh, I better go up there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's there. But uh, yeah, in this version, there's only one dragon coin that level. In Super Mario Advance 2, they fixed that so that there's so that there so that they ha there there are five dragon coins. I actually don't know why there's only one dragon coin in that level. That kind of it doesn't really make much sense to me. This is a really good level for a lot of coins, as pro as you can see. But look how many coins there are, and then you can of course uh, get this dragon coin right here, and there we go. Alright, not that I need that many coins, uh, because, uh, well, oh boy, okay, not that I need, not, not that I need that many coins, because I already have 99 lives, so it's kind of useless in my, eh, at this point, there's no way I'm going to get a game over, I hope, I hope I don't get a game over, otherwise if I get a game over, I don't even know what I'm going to do, I'm probably just really bad at this game fight if I end up with a game over, alright, so over here we have... Uh, fly over here, you get three one-ups! Oh, baby. That sounds like fun. And then, of course, and then, of course, since I got 100 stars now, we get to play another bonus game. How fun! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, that's not bad. Three lives, I'll take it. Alright, and this will take us to the Tropic Fortress. Now, you actually have to find a secret exit for one of these levels in order to beat level 6. Otherwise, then... Oh my goodness. I, I really want to fly through these levels. You know, you've probably seen what, what the level looks like, but... Oh, well, I just want to go... I just want to play levels. I just want to play level again. Oh, man. But anyway, um, you actually have to find one of the secret exits, either in Chocolate Island 2 or Chocolate Island 3. Um, tro preferably Chocolate Island 2, because you beat the level faster like that. Um, but yeah. But I will show you what the normal exit looks like for uh, this for this level, because we have to, because as part of getting all the exits in the game, as 100% does keep track of all the exits. So by the way, you're, uh, gonna hate, you're, you're gonna hate this exit. I'm sorry, did I spoil that? No, shoot. I probably should have said, said you're gonna like it, but oh well, I already, I already ruined it. But guess what? So this is called the FU exit. Because that's all, that's, that's all you do. You just loop around in a circle, just like that. Oh my goodness. I just love, I just love walking in circles. So yeah, that's, um, that's the FU exit. It kinda, it's, uh, it's a good one. By the way, funny. By the way, a little funny thing. My first playthrough of the game, I actually got the goal from underneath. So I was uh, actually, so um, I actually walked like the um, Mario's walking animation actually eventually like killed me because I got the goal from underneath and whoa. So I got the goal from underneath and well, it sucked. 
It was a terrible experience, because I have to replay the level again. Uh, oh, good times. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Woo! Woo! Speed runs! Oh, my goodness. That was close. Lost all my momentum there. That was pretty weird. Okay. Oh, boy. Let's go. Oh! Oh, my God. I, I was going to just fly like this. Whee! All right, that was all right. That, that was fun. Actually, I don't. I actually don't need the fire flower anymore in this game. Um, fire flower at this point is useless because there's no. I have no other need for it. So I'm just gonna just grab two capes. That's kind of the. That's kind of the thing. Like you get like the fire flower. They just like make the fire flower less less and less useful uh, as future Mario games progress. Uh, that's just, that's just, that's just what it feels like to me. Because there, because the fire flower isn't really that much useful in in uh, later Mario games when they introduce like other power ups, like for example, like the new Super Mario Bros. series. You have the Koopa shell, the acorn, the propeller suit, the acorn suit, the propeller shroom, uh, raccoon leaf, and and all and all that. And then it just makes it just makes every other power up in those games like very very like just there for like coolness of the game of the game itself that's just that's just what i feel that's that's just what i feel like for like for the other mario games it's kind of a shame but it's kind of how it is over here is three one-ups oh by the way for, by the way I, I didn't mention something in the fortress the fortress had had little pencils well they look like pencils like i i call them pencils because they look like pencils i use pencils quite uh, very often um for the for, uh, well, yeah, I like using pen, I like using pencil. I use them more than pen, which most people see, which most people people now these days seem seem to, seem to favor pens more. I don't really like pens that much because okay, there we go. I don't really like pens that much because I don't re because I well one I don't I, for some one for some reason I don't write well with pens. Um, I. I don't know why, to be honest, and I only and I only use pens for note for note taking. I don't really use so <laughs> so I don't really use pens that much unless I'm taking notes. So yeah, for other assignments, I I just use pencil because I think it's easy because I think it's just easier that way. Plus, when I make a mistake, I can actually erase it because well, I don't. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a person who carries whiteouts, unfortunately, for you guys. So I just. Uh, I, that's why I don't really like pens that much. Well, it's, yeah, that's a good reason to not like pens. Okay. You uh, you want to bring that P switch over here so I can get that dragon coin, and then uh, somewhere along the line. Okay. Well, there's another dragon coin there. Somewhere along the line is oh a yellow shell. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, okay. I actually never knew that. <laughs> um, out of all the times I played this game, I never knew that. That's actually quite the surprise. All right. Wait, I'm only missing four. Oh, okay. I know where I know where one one of the dragon coins are um, that I missed, but I, that that's okay. You can actually go into one of the pipes and take and take a nice take a nice, I guess a nice shortcut. And then, and you'll get one of the dragon coins there, and that's the one that, and that's one of them that I miss. But that's okay. I'm not too concerned. Okay, if I was fast enough, I would have beaten this uh, this thing. But uh, but um, oh well. So this is where spin jumping is really useful. This is a mechan This is a mechanic that not a lot of people not a lot of casual players take advantage of for some reason because spin jumping you can spin jump on things that you can that you, you wouldn't otherwise jump on so this is really useful except i failed there uh because i because i'm dumb oh my god uh this is bad oh yeah there's a one up there okay uh rather than platform all the way up here whoa Ladies and gentlemen, is that my first death? I think that's my first death. Wow. Um, what a sh that that's a big shock. That's my first death of the let's play, and I was doing so well too. Like I got through special world in one try, and uh, well, oh, dang. 
That that that's really suck. That really sucks. I was really hoping that ever that oh well I got the special rolled it without dying. I'm gonna I'm probably not gonna die at all now. But no, I end up dying in Wendy's castle, and I'm really ashamed of that. <sighs> Alright, let's not die here again. There we go. Much better. Dang, I shouldn't have died there either. Oh, that's a pretty silly death, too. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh, okay, we're good. Great, I don't even... Alright, now what can I... Now what am I gonna do without... Without a cape here? Not that I really need it, but it helps. What? Okay, okay. I'm gonna go granny on this. I'm gonna wait this cycle. I'm not gonna risk it. Because if you get trapped, you're dead. Alright, there we go. Oh, man. So I don't know if this is so. Uh, so one thing I forgot to point out about this game is that this game is referred to as Super Mario Bros. 4 in Japan. Yeah, forgot to mention that like the entire time, but uh, not that it matters anymore. Not that it's very, not that it's relevant for us American players, but it's just nice to know. So yeah, this is the fourth Super Mario Bros. game in the series. Um. So, uh, out of all the cla so in the classic Mario series, the Super Mario Brothers series, this would be my favorite one. I'm not counting new Super the new Super Mario Bros. series as as part of the Super Mario Bros. series because it's called New Super Mario Bros., not Super Mario Bros. This one would be my favorite one. I play this I play this one the most out of all of them. I have so much nostalgia with this with this one out of all the other ones. Well, then again, Super, Super Mario Bros. One is pretty close up there too. Since I, I think I, I think I might have played, I think I might have played Mario Bros. One as much as this, but I, but I, but I like this one more because it was the first Mario game in the series that I've completed. All right, so now we get to now. So since we have some extra time left, let's go ahead and take on the second ghost ship. All right, the second ghost ship. Oh man, it's mean, absolutely mean. It is a it, a, it is a really slow level, but it, it's 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 a really slow level. It's not really too difficult. It's not really too bad. But, I mean, this part right here is pretty bad. It, it, these ghosts right here can cause a lot of problems. And and it's even worse if you have Yoshi, because Yoshi's hitbox is so huge that it's so easy to loot to lose Yoshi here. You just have to be very careful. Oh god. This is where um, con controlling how you swim is very important so that you can go through this. Okay, so you can wait for this for these uh, boomerangs here. I'm gonna try this out. No! Oh, okay. Well, shoot. I'm I'm not going back. No, not not through that mess. So sorry, Yoshi. I actually want to keep. I wanted to keep Yoshi, but oh well, that's fine. All right, here we go. Oh, I missed a dragon coin. All right, well, shoot. Oh, I missed another one. All right, shoot. That's fine. Yeah, the dragon coins are really hard to get in this level. This is the hardest part of the level, as far as 100%ing uh, goes. Here's another star if you want it. Yeah, as you can see, I just missed four of them. Oh, okay. Well, I, okay. Well, at least I got one of them, so that way I'm not too bad at this game. God, I made sure back when I LP'd Super Mario Advance 2, I made sure I practiced this level really hard so that I don't miss any of those dragon coins. That's how hard that level is. But uh, since this game's this game isn't focused too much on dragon coins, I don't really have to worry too much on on that. Well, at least now you know where where the dragon coins are for the level if you want to get them. It's really it's really hard. I'd recommend having Blue Yoshi coming into that that ghost ship if you want to get all the dragon coins, because it's just it's it's just that hard to get all of them. Oh God. Okay. Get out of here. All right. So this level is a ma is a maze level. Uh, you have to uh, f find your way through this level. Um, which, uh, isn't really, it's not really hard, actually. It's not that hard of a maze, or at least you shouldn't really, you shouldn't really struggle with, with it. 
Uh, the, there's these mega moles here, and uh, well, as very as really powerful the cape is, you can uh, you can uh, hit the you can kill the money mole, the mega moles with the cape, which is very overpowered. And what's really weird about the mega moles is that Yoshi can actually eat them for how huge the enemies are, which is really, really strange. By the way, here's the last moon of the game. There are no more moons now. Yeah, I'm missing three dragon coins, so let's see if I can find... Oh, well, here's one. Oh, come here. Thank you. Uh, Alright. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm, all right, I'm gonna create a path up there and see what happens if I go through here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll find the uh, final dragon coin up here. Because I don't remember where where this level's dragon coins are. Whoa, hey. Is it up here? Oh no, that takes us to a bonus area. Oh, hello. Hello! Okay. Ah, okay, I found it. Alright, now we can beat the level. Yeah, this level otherwise would be a straightforward level. That's okay. Get out of here. Uh, hello. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Oh, boy. So far, so good. We're actually, we're almost done with this game, ladies and gentlemen. Do you believe that? Man. Okay. So, this level, alright, so this level, alright, this is, this level is otherwise a really, really slow level, because there are, oh man, yeah, there's a cape feather I could, I could, I could get, that I could, that I could get, but oh well, it's fine. Actually, there's a cape feather in the back, in the back of this level. Or in this next section right here. It is right over here. Yeah. I bet you guys never knew that. Alright. And now we have something called sandbars. Now, if you're really, really crazy, which I don't know why anybody would want to do this. You can actually do a frame perfect spin jump right before you're about to get crushed. And then you'll clip inside the sandbars. I don't know why anybody would want to do that, but it speeds this it speeds this part up by a significant amount. So I wouldn't really, in my opinion, I wouldn't really recommend it unless you're having a bad time with this game, or you're just being or you're just being stupid. So that's all I could say I could say about that. All right, so we're almost out of here. So let's go. All right. I feel like I'm missing dragon coins here. Hmm. Okay, so that's the regular exit. Oh, I can't go back, darn. All right, that's okay. Okay, anyway, uh, there's somebody at my house. Uh, I'm actually, all right, let's let's go get the normal exit, and, and or well, the secret exit, and I'm actually gonna speed this up because this, is a, this level's really slow.
Alright, I don't know if I'm going to shut it off, but I actually did die in, uh, while, uh, in, during that sandbar section. Uh, so that's my uh, second death, dude. So, that's not the best episode for me. Alright, let's see. To do the ghost house or to do the fortress? Hmm. It's, it's debatable. Um. What's the ghost house? Because why not? Alright. The ghost house. So, this ghost house, finding the secret exit of this ghost house is really hard. I actually hate hate finding secret exit here in, in this level. Uh, but, um, I'm actually gonna. First, I'm actually gonna get this, the regular exit because. Just so I can get all the dragon coins, and then I can show off. Uh, how to get? Oh, don't miss that. And then I'm gonna show off how to get all uh, the, the the secret exit. Okay, so to get the. Oh shoot. Uh, that's a problem. All right. Can I make this? That was a stupid. I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm doing this. I swear, I, I I don't even know. Oh my god! I can't believe I made that. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I guess we're showing off the secret exit then. Okay. So to find the secret exit here, since I'm since I'm in this room, uh, you're normally supposed to. Okay. So there's a. Okay. So what I was trying to do was uh the left side, the right side hallway. I um you're supposed to run to the very last door. And then that'll take you to the, the the other side of this room, and then and then on that on that side there's a P switch. You have to bring the P switch over here to this side, and then if you hit this block, you have this uh, coin train right here, and you have to hit the P switch, and at the same time control this coin train. Um, th now that's really painful, but I'm gonna show you a really easy way to do to get to do this. Without having to do without having to do that because that method sucks. Boom, like that. Okay, so the way I did that is I sp is I spin fly all the way up here. I hold I hold I I I glide down by holding the jump button and at the same time hold down, and that barely fits you through through this gap right here. So that makes the secret exit really easy. I'm glad I'm glad I learned I'm glad I learned that method from the speedrunners. So thank you guys for teaching me how to make lots of how to make SMW easier than it already is. <laughs> Even though I died twice for like no for uh, on on over things that I shouldn't even die on because uh, this game is like isn't even that hard. Okay, there we go. Okay, so ever any one of these doors right here will take you to the normal exit right here, and there we go. All right, and with that, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Super Mario World. So next time we're gonna be finishing up the rest of World Seven and possibly beat the game. So yeah, that's gonna be exciting. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.